Welcome to SpikeMark Tech Tips. I am Mike Wade, Director of Technical Services here at Creative Counters. Today's tech tip is all about setting the IP address in Windows. We get an awful lot of tech support calls about SpikeMark stagehand connection issues, although occasionally caused by a high impedance air gap, most of them are caused by an IP address mismatch. This guide is done in Windows 10, although Windows 8 or 7 settings can be adjusted similarly. Please note that some of these settings are only available if you are logged in as an administrator or have admin privileges. If you are unable to make the following changes, you will need to contact your IT support staff. Although SpikeMark and Stagehands are not connected to the internet, they still require a unique IP address to communicate with each other. Here at Creative Connors, we start with the default IP range of 192.168.10.xxx. You may notice that your router uses a similar address. That's because the 192 range is designated for private networks. If you're interfacing with another system, say video, there is nothing stopping you from selecting a different IP range. For instance, 10.10.10.xxx .10 is a favorite with the video folk. The easiest, the easiest way to adjust the IP address is to right click on the network icon in the taskbar at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and select Open Network and Sharing Center. Alternatively, you can press the Windows key and begin typing network and once it pops up you can hit enter and it will open the same window. In the window that opens, find your network connection. In my case, it is the Ethernet connection and left click on it. The connection status window will open. The status window shows you the current status of the connection. For now, we're going to focus on the properties, but feel free to click the details button to see more in-depth details about the connection. Click on the properties button in the lower left hand corner and the network properties window will open. This window shows you what physical connector connection you're using uh, and which protocols in this window that connection is using. Feel free to scroll through the list of choices, though today we're really only interested in the TCP IPv4. Go ahead and highlight the Internet Protocol version 4 and click the Properties button. From here we want to select <clears throat> Use the following IP address radio button. And then we can click in the first in the first range of the IP address and begin typing 192 and it will move over, 168 and it will move over, and 10 and then use your right arrow button to slide over. And in here we're going to put in 200. This is just a personal preference for me. I like to keep the spike mark computers and the consulates all in the upper range of where we have to go. Once you've typed in 200, press tab. The subnet mask will automatically fill in for you. And then you can click OK to close this window. Once you've closed that window, you can then click again, close on the connection properties window. And one more time, click close on the status window. From here, you can swing back over to SpikeMark, and then using our nifty new Shift Control T feature, you can connect to all stagehands. I hope you found today's SpikeMark te tech tip helpful. If there are any questions or if you have any topics you'd like us to cover, please feel free to email support at creativeconnors.com. Thank you.